Andrew Tate has reacted to the insult that the Olympic Olympic France has done to Christianity and Jesus Christ. May peace be upon him. This is what Andrew Tate has said. Anything besides say, oh, the law says we need to put you in jail for telling the truth about God. Is this, is, is this who the Christians of Romania have become? I think this is disgusting. I don't think this is good. And I don't think Jesus will smile upon this. It's very important that we show the French this is unacceptable. There's no reason for it. It has nothing to do with sports. It's not even sport related. It has nothing to do with dedication, admiration, any of the things the Olympics are about. This is done on purpose to mock Christians. This is done on purpose to show Christians that they're weak. This is done on purpose to show the Christians that they can make fun of you and nobody will do anything. What do that's what this is. These are Satanists who are I'll making my point. I will let the French know on the news that we are unhappy with this. You see, the French people are making fun of Jesus Christ and Christianity. But it is the Muslims who have stood up and fighting against this insult against the religion. And, and I don't know why our money is Romanian. I pay taxes in Romania. You pay taxes? Bro, this is, they can't do this with our money. This is this, this disgusting. And, and they're doing this knowing that the Christians will not react. Yeah. France is a Christian country. Yes. You know? People, people don't seem to understand. Let me tell you guys. I'm American, yeah? I'm American. I'm from a country that has lost God. I from, when you lose God in a society, you know what happens? Your, your son tries to become a girl. They teach this to him at three years old in the school. And you know what happens if you tell the teacher not to teach him this? People like you in blue uniforms come and arrest you. You're the bad guy for trying to protect your own children. That's what's going to happen when they remove God from society. You're going to end up, being, you're going to end up arguing with your own children. You're going to end up with your own, own arguing with your own children about what gender they are when you remove God from society. And we're sitting here saying that Romania is a beautiful country with beautiful people. And the thing that makes it beautiful is to God, that you feel God in the air here. This is the most beautiful thing about Romania. And you think you can follow the West for the money? The American the government gives you dollars and the EU gives you euros, so you open your borders to people who have no business to be in Romania in the first place, and they turn up and everyone throws God away, and everyone's just going to sit in Romania and Romania's going to stay the same? It's going to change. Basically, what this Olympic I mean, has done to Christianity, Christians around the world, they must and they should, or let me say religious people, we must boycott this Olympic in France, this Olympic Games, we must boycott it. And the, the, the children are going to suffer. Anyone who believes in man, woman, marriage, child, and God should be here as well, as upset as we are. There's no need for this. This is absolute desecration of Jesus Christ for no possible reason other than to mock the fact that Christians have become weak. That's all this is. I say this as a Muslim man, because we respect Jesus Christ the same. They're doing it to you openly, and everybody seems to think, oh, it's okay, it'll just leave it, it'll be fine. It will not be fine. Christians would never tolerate this 20 years ago. Bogdan, do you pay taxes? You pay taxes. $100 million of European Union money went to fund this Olympic Games. Your money, your tax money. Cameraman, your tax money. Police officers, your tax money. They your money your to money mock Jesus to mock Christ. Our God. That's not okay. $100 million of European Union money went into this show. So guys, what's your opinion? Let's see it in the comment section. This is what they are doing to Christianity. And Christians around the world, please wake up. Wake up.